What's up everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm Josh Elkin and today I'm making buffalo chicken waffles. Let's get on with the recipe. Starting this recipe off with a big bowl of ground chicken. To the bowl of ground chicken, I'm gonna add some eggs, a little bit of onion powder, some garlic powder, obviously some salt and pepper, and don't forget a little bit of breadcrumbs. Essentially what I'm doing here is making a ground chicken meatloaf mixture which you would use for, let's say, chicken nuggets, or in this case, to put inside a waffle maker. Cooking this chicken mixture inside this waffle maker is the first of two ways that we're gonna be cooking these waffles. First, I gotta make them into the waffles, then I have to coat them and deep fry them, but we're not there yet. While the chicken waffles rest, it's time to get on the blue cheese sauce. To this food processor, I'm adding a little bit of blue cheese, but crumbling it up first so that it helps it move along. Then some heavy cream, a little bit of Worcestershire sauce, and salt and pepper. There's a chance that running this heavy cream in this food processor turns it into whipped cream so you got to be careful and if it does get a little too thick take it out and add a little bit more cream to a bowl outside the food process i like sauces like this to be a little bit more thin than thick so that i can add it to a squeeze bottle and apply it like that otherwise a spoon and bowl technique works out fine now this hot sauce coating is very very basic i'm taking a typical vinegar based hot sauce and combining it with butter that's it once both sauces are complete it's time to set those aside and make the deep fry batter. I'm actually going wet batter instead of dry batter here because I want the wet batter to seep inside the nooks and crannies of the waffle. To a bowl, I'm combining all-purpose flour, some garlic powder, onion powder, one egg, a quarter cup of mustard, and a cup of water. I'm mixing all that up until it becomes the consistency of pancake batter. Once I've reached that pancake batter consistency, I gotta preheat my cooking oil to 375 degrees Fahrenheit. Carefully, I gotta take each one of these chicken waffles and completely coat it in this pancake batter. You wanna be very, very diligent with getting the batter inside each one of these waffle crevices. Once the waffles are golden brown and crispy, take them out of the deep fryer and completely completely coat them in the buffalo sauce mixture and stack sauce and garnish with some chives whoa chicken waffles not chicken and waffles chicken waffles coated and deep fried recoated in buffalo sauce topped in blue cheese dressing the epitome of everything buffalo chicken and waffles is combined on one plate Yeah, check out the link down below. It'll take you to the recipe on my website, Recipe Champions, which I update at least once a week. Guys, you wanna make this at home, hit that up. You wanna try any of my other recipes, hit that up. You want some of this new merch? I'm the self-proclaimed champion of breakfast, AKA King of Eggs, and you can be too because never skip egg day. Represent your love for breakfast and eggs with this shirt. I got a lot more waffle to eat and I'm super pumped, extra hungry, and very excited. Bye.